Warning, this creepypasta is made up and not real. It also contains content that may not be suitable for younger audiences. If you get scared easily, do not watch this creepypasta. Viewer discretion is advised. Do you remember when Rohan, Brian, and myself found the cursed Broadway, Cimarron, Tex, Grand, Eclipse, and I when found the cursed THX Amazing Life trailer? Well, wait till I tell you about my encounters with the cursed digitally mastered trailer. Well, I was just at home, watching some videos as usual, until I got bored. I was wanting to see if they had any new cars THX certified copies. I soon scrolled down. Most of the THX certified copies of Pixar movies were, A Bug's Life, Monsters Incorporated, Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Finding Nemo, and other Pixar films that were THX certified. Then one caught my attention. It had a listing of cars, 2006, THX certified copy here is how the description went. This was the last THX certified copy of a Pixar movie before THX split with Pixar Animation. Be warned, this DVD has a cursed trailer that was made before this final version of the THX certified cars copy went on to stores. I didn't understand about the be warned part, but decided to order it. A few days later, my package arrived, and I opened it. And it was a DVD called Cursed THX Digitally Mastered Trailer. The disc was entirely lifeless. I inserted it, and the trailer began with a black background for 10 seconds. After a while, text appeared. You should never have began viewing this trailer. As that happened, the normal deep note played, but longer, and slowed down, but I thought it would not have any screaming, but I was soon wrong. As that happened more text faded in reading. This THX certified copy of Pixar Cars was the last to ever, be, produced. As it happened, the audio stopped. The text soon faded in. Digitally mastered for optimal video and audio performance as that happened the same screaming deep note from the cursed Broadway trailer appeared. This time, with Tomaters screaming the background. After that, the text you witnessed hell. Fades in, under that was www.thx.com as that was displayed. The picture of Stanley from the deleted version of the Radiator Springs Chaos scene is displayed. Then the disc ejected itself. I put the disc back, and got in touch with the seller. Here's every message. Me, okay, what on earth did you sell me? Seller, the car's DVD you wanted? Me, that's not the DVD I wanted. This is a cursed THX digitally mastered trailer that was not what you were listing as a cars THX certified copy. Seller, calm down, describe to me what was in the trailer. Me, well, the text was different, the deep note sounded demonic, and it showed a scary face at the end. Seller, oh geez, that never happened to me. Me, I thought you said you watched it. Seller, I did, but I didn't remember the things you said. Me, let me ask this question again, don't flea markets sell this garbage? Seller, yes they do, but I thought this was a normal THX DVD. Me, you should have been more careful. Seller, I'm very sorry, do you want a refund? Me, I would, but I can't return it. Seller, I can still give you a refund. Me, thank you. But before I do, what was the flea market called? Seller, it was called DVD Flea Markets Incorporated, though, I doubt you'll be able to find info on them, due to them closing down a day after I got the disc and sent it to you, I soon found a statement from THX. I clicked it and the title was THX Investigation into Cursed THX Trailers. Dear THX people, it has come to our attention that there are some cursed versions of our older THX trailers have been going around in places like flea markets and lesser known selling websites, with the results being stuff that is very scary and disturbing. We at THX would never make something as messed up as what is seen on these bootleg tapes. We are taking legal action to get these videos banned and destroyed before it affects unsuspected children. We hope you understand, and if you ever feel scared, pray to God and you will feel better, with love.
thx, it still doesn't make sense to me. Why would Adam Kennington make these screwed up trailers? It doesn't make sense.